So are you having trouble seeing dark yarns in poor lighting like me? Well, today I'm going to review two items. I have a set of lighted crochet hooks and I also have a neck light for reading. And I'm going to be showing you the differences between the two, uh, the pros and cons of both, and whether one is a better value than the other. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kimberly and I am so happy that you decided to stop by for a little bit today and spend some time with me. Um, if you are anything like me, you're having trouble seeing dark yarns in poor lighting. Uh, even if you are young and have good eyes, dark yarn in poor lighting is always hard for all of us to see. So I purchased a couple of items uh, in the last couple of months. <laughs> Wanted to share them with you today um, and let you know what I think of both, uh, both of these items. So first up, <clears throat> uh, there's these uh, lighted, um, they're a reading light. They're, they're advertised as a reading light. They're from this company called um, Glu Glucosint, Glucosint, Glucosint. <laughs> Anyway, these are off of Amazon. They run about $21.99, um, you know, and they come with different colors. I bought the pink, but they also have a really pretty royal blue and silver. So if your husband or significant other needs a reading light and wants one a little bit more manly than pink, there's something for him too. Okay, so um, here, here are mine. They come like this. Um, they're really easy to use. These arms here are uh, posable. So you can um, angle them up or you can angle them down, um, stretch them out or bring them, you know, really close in, depending on whatever it is you need. It has um, three light brightnesses. They have a warm light, the, uh, a, a medium or a mixed light and a cool light. So you've got a very bright blue light, not blue, but blue tone light. You've got the mix of the two and then you've got the warm, kind of yellow, yellowish cast to the warm light. They are rechargeable. Um, they do charge up pretty quickly. It comes with the charging cable. Um, it is, um, I believe it's the new USB-C um, port on this side, um, but a regular USB on the other. Uh, I just plug them into some leftover USB bricks that I have and plug them right into the wall. Or if you would like, you can plug them into your computer and charge them that way. To turn them on, um, there are buttons on both of these lights. You can have one on or you can have both of them on. It, it's your preference, but um, you, there are three settings. It starts off low and then medium and then high. And all you do is you just keep, keep clicking them until you get to the uh, strength of light that you need. And then you click it again and they both turn on. Um, and then there are three warmth um, gradient so, so if you prefer a warm setting so click it once and um, it's on the warm setting click the button again and it mixes the warm and the cool then this is the one I like and then you can uh, click it one more time and that is a more blue or cool light so you wear them around your neck um, they're they're very comfortable they're they're not heavy at all um, I get a little bit hot and, and I don't think it has anything to do with the light. It has to do with I'm still um, receiving personal summers. So sometimes I get a hot, little hot on my neck. With these posable um, arms, you can position them however you know is good for you. So you can have them more in a forward position if you're sitting up and you can angle them down if you have your work in your lap. So um, really nice. Um, honestly, the cons that I have with this is when I crochet, I, I scoot around in my seat a lot to try to get comfortable and change positions so I don't get um, soreness in my shoulder or my neck. So as I'm moving around, these have a tendency to start scooting one way or another and I don't realize it's happening until I, I'm starting to struggle to see what I'm working on again and then I realize that I have to readjust them. Um, the second con, which doesn't really affect me, but does affect uh, my husband and my sons when they're watching TV. Uh, we do have a flat screen TV like most, most people, and they can see the glare of these two uh, lights 
from whatever angle they're sitting at. So they say that they, the headlights move around a lot because as I'm scooting and moving, these bounce on the screen. Like I said, they don't, it doesn't bother me because at my angle, I can't see, see that at all. But for anyone else watching TV, they are going to see this bounce around on the screen. So really, those are the only two things that I can think of that I think of um, as a con to these. Um, they, they're fantastic lights. I really like them. Um, I recommend them not only for crochet, um, but if you're doing any type of crafting, um, maybe at the table, the like dining room table and the overhead's just not enough, this would be great um, to help light up the things that you're working on. Uh, of course, they are uh, advertised for reading. So for reading, they're excellent and you can change those um, warmth levels to um, so it doesn't glare off of your page. If you are like me and are old school and like to you know, read a real book. <laughs> so, uh, so whatever it is that you'd like to do. So um, I give these a pretty high score. Um, I do recommend them. They're, they're great lights. And um, I don't think you'll go wrong for 20, for $21.99. That's, that's really, uh, you know, a great offer. Okay. So the other thing I decided to try out and um, were, were these lighted hooks. Now I was on Instagram, these kept popping up, um, showing me. And so I decided to check them out. The uh, site that it took me to wanted $45 for these. And I thought to myself, uh, no, <laughs> I'm not paying $45 for this set. Um, anyway, so I went on Amazon and found dozens upon dozens upon dozens of these. And um, I paid um, $21.49 for these, uh, plus shipping obviously. Um, and this is the way they came. They, they came just wrapped in, in a plastic. Um, and they did come with some extra, extra little goodies and I'll show you. The little case is quite pretty. Um, it's got kind of a texture to it a little bit and you know, pretty little design on there. It also came in um, a plain purple, uh, a bright pink and red. So um, those were the other color choices. The inside uh, looks like this. This is the little crochet handle. And right here, I'm not sure you can see them all, but um, those are the different size um, hooks. It also comes with its own charging cable. Um, I haven't had to charge this yet because I honestly have not used it for long periods of time. I have used it for an hour or so and, and the light is still doing pretty well. And that's the light that came with it when it was um, sent to me. So we have the little handle that you can see here. It is very, very lightweight. It is obviously plastic. Um, when you pick it up, there's almost no weight to it whatsoever. This uh, part of the handle is rubberized and it does have a little slight grip to it. Um, it has here on the front is the little, um, that's where you turn your light on and off. Uh, you charge it on that end and your hook goes on this end. Okay, so to put a hook on it, um, you have to have this little wrench, which they send uh, in the kit, and uh, it's a cute little wrench. It's a little big thing, okay? And um, let's see, I'll just grab this five and a half. Um, the sizing is, and it, you're not going to be able to tell, but the sizing is, is written right here at the bottom. So it's, it's, it is quite hard to see. Um, when you're looking at it up close and not in all this really bright light, um, you, you can see it fairly well. Um, sometimes I have to put my reading glasses on to see it, but um, I've only used four different hooks in here, so I, I already kind of know which ones they are. All right, and in, in order to attach, you have to have the little wrench. It says you can put it on with your fingers, um, but if you don't use the wrench to lock it, um, then the hook may fly off while you're working. So um, again, it's, it's very easy. Um, the hooks have these little protrusions down here at the bottom, which again, they're a little hard to see uh, in this light. Okay, so it's got two little protrusions and they fit into the groove. As you can see, it's not round, it's kind of oblong. 
you can fit you fit them down into the little groove okay I can turn it with my fingers and it feels tight but my fingers are also sliding on it there are two more grooves up here at the top and that's where the wrench fits in so you slide the wrench in and continue and it it makes a little click you can't hear it you can more feel it than hear it so um, that that ensures that this hook is is on and you'll have to have the wrench to get it off um, I, I tried getting it off without the wrench and it, it's not coming off so if you use the wrench it's not coming apart so it has two light settings we have high which is what it comes on as high and then there's low so um, it's not an overly bright light um, as you can see but let's try it again this will turn off you click it once there's the bright the really bright and then low and then back off so you just choose whatever brightness is is what's needed for your project it does light the area but it only lights the one stitch um, some cons that I have come across with this, uh, squeaky, <laughs> very squeaky. I have tried it with several different yarns and no matter the yarn I used, whether it was cotton or acrylic or chunky, um, the chunky not so much, but um, definitely squeaks. It squeaks almost the entire time. Um, the next con, um, almost all of these have that little ridge. You can feel it. Um, it did not snag any of my yarn, so the fact that I can feel this ridge may be nothing, um, but I don't know. I just, I guess because I like my, my other hooks and they're all very smooth, um, that was kind of a little off-putting. Now the tips, you can feel um, the tip where it's got a little bit of roughness. Um, I have not had a problem with that, but I can see there may be a problem maybe with a very fine or very fuzzy type of yarn, it may it may uh, snag it. I don't know, I didn't come across that, but that was just something I thought might would happen. I don't know if I recommend these or not. <laughs> it, it seems, they seem a little bit, uh, I don't know, cheap. Uh, again, they were $21.49, so they weren't expensive. Um, it does come with nine different hooks, the smallest being a 2.53, 3 3.5, 4, 4.55, 5.56, 6.57, and 8. So it's got a good range. Um, I do anagurumi. I am not convinced that I'll be able to pull really tight um, with this be because it's so light and it does feel a little bit chintzy. I mean, it, it doesn't bend or anything when I try to bend it this way. It's it's not flexing or anything, but I'm just kind of scared that I'm going to break this. Um, let's see, let's get the three. Okay, that's the, uh, this is a three and a half, and that's what I typically um, use for amigurumi. I don't, I don't know if you can see those, but um, I don't know, the, the depth of the hook um, is not very much. It does have a, I don't know, a, a fair point to it. Some of my other hooks have a little bit different point and I like that better. But I'm just kind of scared that I'm gonna break it because I do pull those uh, stitches pretty tight when I'm working on it. So I'm not sure that I would ever use um, these smaller ones, especially um, this little bitty tiny, um, 2.5 so that's that's a little bitty bitty hook there i don't crochet lace so the, the smaller ones would just kind of be a waste but you know at least they're there if you want them um some other good things um they sent um with it they sent a little package of the um, lockable um stitch markers um it came with a package of yarn needles um, these are plastic yarn needles two different sizes it also came with a, a little measuring tape um, just your standard measuring tape it has inches on one side and metric on the other i was very curious about this little item um, because i don't think i've ever seen a uh, seam ripper <laughs> as part of a crochet kit <laughs> Um, and I was, I was 
quite perplexed. Like I said, I thought, what in the world? Anyway, so what I got to thinking is, well, maybe this is when you are tying off and you use this little sharp, little teeny tiny sharp area right in between this little red spot and this long um, spike uh, to maybe cut the yarn. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't think I would ever do this with my um, crochet projects. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I would ever use this. Uh, scissors um, to me are perfect, um, especially when you're cutting off and you're really, really close to your work. Um, I can just see if you're at the wrong angle and you go to cut that piece of yarn and cut down into your stitches. But that could be me and maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe this is a good idea and a lot of people use it. I've just never seen it before. So it's, it's a curious item to me. So um, that's, you get all of that in your, your little kit for $21.50 um, plus the instructions on how to use it. Um, it's a nice little, it's a nice little kit to have. Um, the little, the little case is, is great if you're going to travel with it on a, a, a train or in a car or anything like that and you're using these and they're open um, and this is jiggling around, they're, nothing's going to fall out. They're, they are all in here rather snug. This is a um, like a foam type um, holder that's in here so it's squishy but everything fits into its own spot. The things I really don't like about it um, are the markings on the actual hooks it is kind of hard to see um, and you really need to be in some quiet um, some bright light um, or um, have to put your reading glasses on it may be just me um, having a hard time seeing it but you know that was a little off-putting it's a handy little kit to have um, I'll probably keep this I, I'm not sure that I'm gonna send it back I'm, I'm still up in the air <laughs> I'm still up in the air. Uh, these I bought in January, and although I don't use them every single day, um, because it just depends on what I'm working on, um, but these are handy for so many, so many different reasons. And so, I mean, obviously I'm keeping these. These, these are great. Um, uh, these little guys, like I said, I don't think I'm going to need all of this, and I really believe, um, that I probably am not going to use this. Uh, I have I've done some footage on both of these um, that I'll get to in just a moment, uh, and you can choose for yourself. You know what you think would be a better value for you. Um, I'm not going to say not to get these because for certain people these are these are perfect. Um, for me, I don't think they're I don't think they're for me. Both of these cost this about the same twenty one fifty twenty one ninety nine. Um, they're both great values. Uh, I think I'm going to go with these as being the best value for your money, um, but I can see many, many people uh, wanting to use, use this little.